I recently went to a number of antique and vintage stores and found all this fabric for $15.50. Let's check it out. This first one is for $2.50. It's slightly more than I normally pay for scrap fabric, but I was looking for some peach fabric for a quilt I'm working on and I thought some of the fabric in here might be what I was looking for and thought it was worth a chance. I don't know about the orange part. We'll see, I guess. What do you think of it? Let's see. It's a Riley Blake design. Apricot and persimmon. Let's see. It's a yellow. Light yellow with a darker yellow. Kind of a flower print, I guess. And I guess this is a batik, which, you know, could be used in a lot of quilts. And some plain peach. That's a decent piece of peach. So, two fifty. dollars uh, Next, I got this. It's actually not a curtain. At least I don't think it is. It does have a hem though, so I suppose at one point it might have been. But it comes out to about a yard and a half. And it's pretty cute. I'm not quite sure. It's almost a linen-y kind of cotton. So it would probably be nice for clothes. But I'd have to think about... I'd have to think about it for a little bit. Now this is a flat... It's a flat sheet. I think it said full. That's bad. I can't remember. But I'm pretty sure it was a full sheet. And I was thinking of the quilt top I got in another bag of fabric that was a, a very bright and 70s looking. After I brought this home and I looked at it compared to the other one, I was like, it, it definitely doesn't belong as the back. But I really like it anyways, so I'll use it on the back of something even if I have to make my own design to use it. I like yellow and orange. And for $4, that's generally what Goodwill is asking for their sheets anymore. So each of these three bags for $2. And the cashier said that she had bought some bags from that booth and thought the fabric she got was great. So we'll see. Some fleece. Some practice material. I've done that too. Oh, wow. Um, goodness. So about a half yard of this stretchy knit 70s fabric. Uh, um, help me out, guys. What? What would you do with this? I, I, just not a big fan of the brown flowers, so. But it's, it is like half a yard of it, so it's plenty to do something with it. Some cute monkeys. Oh, it looks like a decent amount of it. Looks like about half a yard. I'll put it with all my kid fabric and I can probably use it in a quilt. Just a little bit of it's cut out. Wolf fabric. I have some somewhere I got in another haul. I mean, I guess you could use it like as a pillowcase. If I knew anyone who liked wolves, I, you know, I could make a quilt for them, but. Huh. Some X's. I suppose if I wanted to, uh, applique it onto a, like a quilt, or a pillow cover. That would be something I could do. That's um, a canvas type fabric. Scrap. Tiny scrap. A football, kind of a American football.
Interesting. Hmm. Some flamingos. Okay. Hmm. Oh, well, luckily I saw the pin in there. Ohio State. They're a bit far away from Ohio. <laughs> Some more of this. Not very big pieces, so. And this is a... Kind of reminds me of acid wash jeans. Polka dots. Paw Patrol. I could make a small pillow cover out of it, I guess. My kid likes Paw Patrol, so I'm sure I can use that some way. No Sky. No Zuma. Oh, wait, there's Zuma. I'm blind. Poor Sky. And, ooh, this is nice. It's lightweight, but it's not too lightweight. It's a fair amount, so you can always use navy blue all the time. And this is almost like a batik print. Okay, let's check this one out. Looks like just some more blue. And as I said, nothing wrong with some plain navy blue. Always useful. Oh, that's cute. I get a little extra superhero. Don't ask me which universe it is. I don't know. Some decent pieces of dark blue. Definitely a, a heavier weight black fabric. Kitty cats. Some gray. Um, this is like a heavier. So, farm meat, 1978. Oh. This is a flannel. I wonder if she just cut the L out backwards. Cute. I wish there was more of this. This is really cute. Oh. <laughs> cute. I've never seen that one before. This is a little bit heavier weight. So, let's see. So, seven strips. It's pretty. Spider-Man.
some green polka dot, some interfacing, Just a green flower, green floral, interfacing on a whatever that is, quilting, quilt batting. That's cute. I think I might have this, but in a different color. More interfacing, some foam. Batman. No, 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 no. Some heavier weight pink. It's pretty. Some sort of a turquoise. A light turquoise. Some ticking. Big enough for a pillowcase top. Some more of that butterfly. Some splotches of white. Spider-Man. Interesting shape to cut out. I wonder if it was like for an eye mask or something. It's cute. Oh, I like the lemons. That's cute. I wouldn't mind getting that fabric. Like an actual yard of it or something. Some more Batman. The kid's not quite into Batman yet, so. A nice piece of gray. Okay. It's kind of pretty. Two pieces. That's... This feels almost like upholstery, or at least furniture fabric. Just a small bit. And... It's cute. Seems like there should be many more pieces of it. Uh, well, these are pre-done. I don't know if you can tell it's sort of shiny dots on it. Um, I mean, they're pre-made for something. Any guesses or suggestions, let me know. More butterflies. More pre-made pieces. Yeah. Uh, hmm. More of the pigs. Bright ocean scene. Go out to the Caribbean, I guess. Oh. I actually have this fabric. I've never bought this fabric on purpose, but I've got it, gotten it in several hauls. Well, I mean, that's a nice embroidery design. 
I know exactly what I can do. I can make it into a doll's apron and just cut it, put some lace on it. That would be cute. That would work great. Some more pieces of this. Lots more of the piggy. That's good. Another gray and white. Some gray. Lots of piggy pieces. Nothing wrong with that. Oh. So what do you think this was supposed to be? Huh. I'm just not sure. I'll think on it for a while. Some cute little froggies. Um, and then this may have just been practice snaps. Army. So one last bag to look at. Nice polka dot. I, I think I actually got this fabric in a completely different haul. I'm, I did. I mean, and from a totally different location and everything. This was from, I think, a thrift store. And it's kind of a weird fabric. It's not, it's, it feels weird. It doesn't feel bad, but cool. I just happened to look at it this morning and that's why I can remember it. This is a nice big piece of a, a much heavier weight cotton, which is very nice. So. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I would do with this. It's maybe a doll apron again. Some more gray polka dot or gray with white polka dots, really. Some batting. A decent chunk of this. Which, since it's red and green, you could make it to be like a Christmas kind of fabric. But it doesn't have to be. It's cute though. I like that. Some yellow. Wyndham fabric. So it's a nicer, a little bit nicer quality cotton. Nicer quality cotton. Nicer quality cotton. And I like the yellow. I think I have some of this from another haul. I got a bunch of navy fabric. Many strips of this. You think they were going to do binding? Probably. I don't know. Maybe. And... Okay. The printed instructions of a book. Some gray. This is cute. Of course, I like red, so. I like that. That's real cute. That's cute, too. I like that. Ooh, a nice plain sort of a almost matches my shirt. It's more of a rose than a brick kind of a red. And it's not really maroon either. Not quite purple enough for that. But 
that's a really good amount of fabric here. So probably combined, it's close to half a yard. So that's a pretty good deal there. Scraps of sort of a yellow. Some flamingos. So I got that in another one, didn't I? I love this one. That's pretty. It's like a fat quarter. Yeah, I would say that's a fat quarter. Some more Ohio or Oklahoma. No, this is Oklahoma. I'm apparently I'm lost my mind. Sorry, Oklahoma. I don't know anyone from Oklahoma that that I can think of. Santa. Not really enough to see Santa easily. Some plain navy blue. Let's see. It says queen. So, bee and beehives, but this is truly scrap fabric. Nice little watermelon. It's kind of unfortunate the background is kind of gray. But... Usable. Some uh, Frozen. Haven't seen the movie. Wouldn't warm hugs melt him? It's a flannel. I think I actually have this fabric. Definitely Christmas. So, another piece of that Paris fabric. I'll think about what, how I can use all that. Nice little bit of the bees. Some more Spider-Man. Looks like a... Maybe not quite a fat quarter. Yeah. Half a fat quarter, I guess. That's cute. If I made a pillow and I, like, put this through the middle... And then had like a red at the top and a blue at the bottom. And then the other side could be half red and half blue. That would look really cute, I think. Another strip of it. And a bigger piece of that flamingo. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, Please check out this link to view some more fabric haul videos.